we're in La Ciotat in the south of France, where a very special boat is undergoing maintenance at this shipyard. Pascal Goulpier welcomed us aboard the Planet Solar, the only boat which has sailed around the world using only solar power. It's a big vessel, 30 meters long, and it generates its own energy from more than 500 square meters of solar panels. Having been round the world once, the boat is preparing for new adventures. In the beginning, it was built to demonstrate the potential maturity and reliability of renewable energies because that was one of the first motivations. See what we can do. And today, there's a lack of credibility concerning these renewable energies. But it's also become a communications platform. It is, however, a large boat, and we want to show that we can carry large loads so we can open the boat to the public. They know this boat well when we go into ports. This boat is a flag carrier, a symbol. And today it's also a tool that we put at the service of the scientific community for projects concerning the environment. In partnership with Geneva University, the boat is taking a team of scientists to Florida this spring and then to Iceland, following the Gulf Stream with the aim of collecting new data. The research carried out by the scientific team isn't only measuring the temperature. Obviously, the Gulf Stream is a warm current. It's easy to determine whether or not we're on the Gulf Stream by taking the temperature. They'll also measure biological activity in the sea by sampling phytoplanktons, for example. And with a boat that doesn't emit any exhaust fumes or gases at all, we can be sure the analysis will not be polluted by them. Other research will also be carried out, like the test developed by Waste Free Ocean. The foundation will go to the North Atlantic Ocean Gyre, a huge garbage patch of plastic swirling endlessly in the sea and Planet Solar is well equipped for the trip. Making a collection with a new type of boat using sustainable energy is the way we'll find a solution for this waste, which is so far from any coastline. The gyres we're talking about, for example, today there are five known ones on the planet, and we have to find a better solution than just using fishing boats. On board the planet Solar, we met Gérard d'Aboville, the first person to have rowed across the Atlantic. He is very enthusiastic about the planet Solar project. This expedition has a project which is to study the Gulf Stream, which is a fascinating project because from the results of the research we can learn things especially about the climatic evolution which will happen 10, 20, 30 years, a generation from now. So it's really an essential key for our future. Planet Solar sets sail again in March, aiming for a new challenge, researching the Gulf Stream.